Hello everyone. Welcome. Dawn here with Amethyst Moon Studios preparing to try to do another isolated uh, pearl cell pour similar to this one here. So I've got the pearl cells here in this corner but then the rest of it is just the straight pour with all that beautiful striping. So I'm going to try to do something similar, but in pinks today. So I do love my pinks. Um, so my background color here is the Montmartre Titanium White, this one here. And that's mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. These are also mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint. This here is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. This is the berry. Okay, that's this one here. And this is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics Pearl. That's this one here. And this is the pearl with a dab of the berry in it, just to give me a nice light pink, too. And um, my pouring medium is 70% Elmer's Glue All, 30% water, and then I thinned these down to consistency um, with water. So just to give you an idea of the consistency, let's see if you can... See this here that's my consistency I'm not really leaving a mound just thin down a little bit probably mm, oh, maybe maybe about five grams a little bit more in the berry because that one's thicker than the white um, okay so I'm gonna start with the light pink first and I'm going to come in from up high. And let those paints mix into that background color. So I've got some of that background color in the bottom of that cup first. Get that scraped out. And now I'm probably risking losing all of this pearl, um, but we'll see. So again, coming in from up high, letting that blend in. So hopefully I won't lose all of it, but having it between the two pinks is gonna Create some changes in color on that end anyway. So, and then again from up high with this beautiful berry color. Okay. And get that scraped out of there. Okay, and then finally come in with a little bit of this background color right on top, just so it's the first color out of the cup. See all those bubbles in there? Ooh, lots of churning happening in there. Okay, so I liked the corner effect on the last one so I'm going to angle towards the corner again on this one and see what we get here I already have some really pretty striping going on love it come in a little bit closer Should start to see the white background color coming back out. Yep, there it is. Pretty. 
pretty. Closer here. Do a little jiggle at the end. Start getting that tapered off and pull out. All right. Pretty. Yes. Oh, pretty down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a super quick torch once around. Okay. Maybe a few times around. Okay. And I'm gonna shoot for this corner first. I'm gonna tilt off that corner first. my cup out of the way. Okay. All right, so heading in this direction, get my corner catcher. Get this paint moving. like my background color the coat started to dry up a little bit all right let's just get this party started here I'm back okay Just this way so you guys can see. Come back to this corner here. Wow, that was close. Gotta have a good grip on that. All right, so now let's head over to this corner here. Not quite, okay. turned head back to the last corner so pretty already oh my gosh the striping in here is amazing okay let's go get over that corner all right So I'm just recentering here. And let's see here. I think I want to try to push just a little bit of that off. So let's see what I can do here. Can get some of that off. There we go. That's better. All right. Recentering. gosh so pretty okay even if I don't get these pearl cells 
striping in here is so pretty. Okay, let me wipe off my hands. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So dry. Winter's here. Oh, dry weather's here. Um, one more paper towel for my hands. So... Let me give this a torch here. Pretty, wow. Okay, so this area here, with the background color peeking through, is where we should start to see those pearl cells popping up. Hmm. Kind of like little freckles now, but they'll grow. Okay, so that corner is super opaque. So I'm not sure, it's really white, so I'm not sure if we'll get anything there. And then look at this hair, erg. Okay. Phew, okay. So I don't know if you caught that. Instead of plucking at the hair in the center, I went and found the edge of it and followed it around where it had wrapped so it doesn't interrupt the composition as much. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait to you see this area here and this blending. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I've got these little tiny freckly um, pinpoint pearl cells right now, but those should open up a little bit more over time. It takes about anywhere between a half hour to an hour, I've noticed, um, for those to fully bloom, so to speak, and um, reach their maximum growth. So I want to give you guys a close-up <laughs> before I want you to see the striping it is so cool let me pause the video hang on okay look at that oh my gosh oh my gosh it is so cool I love it love it and then these are just the beginnings of those pearl cells, so we'll see how those grow over the next half hour, 45 minutes or so. So, <clears throat> all right, you guys, quick time out, and I'll be right back. Hold tight. Okay, so it's been mm, almost an hour. So, um, this corner that had that bare white spot, <clears throat> I just kept looking at it, and it was just driving me nuts. So I took what I had left in my cup and just kind of like ribbon poured back and forth. And then I didn't like that. So I poured my leftover white base coat um, on top of that and then tilted it off and then started getting um, those pearl cells. So that kind of worked out in the end, I suppose, although I was just really trying to you know, get rid of the ribbon. So happy little surprise. I want to take this a step further and I am actually going to add a little bit of this iridescent fine glitter. I'm just going to sprinkle it just a little bit. 
I don't want to overdo it. But I just want to give it just a little something extra. And give it a little bit more sparkle. I mean, this is some girl power colors going on already. So. Why not go full? Ooh, pretty. Probably could have used a little bit more here, so I'm going to grab another pinch. Yeah, it looks like my edges are a little light so I'm going to take care of that the striping in here you guys Oh my gosh. So pretty. So pretty. Can't wait for you to see it. This is definitely... Definitely a girl's girl hanging. <laughs> Are you guys hold tight and I will bring you in for the close up. One second. Okay, so I'm turning the camera around and showing it to you from my point of view because I did take the liberty here in the center of putting a little swirl in. So it didn't just drag out and, you know, Georgia O'Keeffe moment. But, yeah, so I did that little swirl there. Okay. There we go. That's better. That little swirl there in the center. So it almost has like a rosebud look to it now. So that's cool. But, yeah, I want to really really hone in on all the striping in here and of course you know the camera really doesn't do it justice but once we get into here oh my gosh look at that look at that it's beautiful beautiful Love it. And then coming back up to the center. This other corner here. Some more striping. Coming into these pearl cells. So now I think my background color was a little thick. Because these are some tiny little guys peeking through so pretty sure pretty sure it was a little thick now over here where the where the um, they're a little bit bigger i think that's just because of more stretching too so combination of two things fix my uh, consistency a little bit on that base coat and watch my stretching or maybe stretch a little bit more off. Maybe I'm using too much paint, but I like the glitter. I like the sparkle of that glitter too. What do you guys think? Do you dig it? I'm really digging it. So if you like what I'm doing, I hope you'll like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're informed every time I upload something new. 
as always, you guys, thanks so much for spending your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Have a great one. Bye-bye.